my goodness. <laughs> Girls, mommy loves you so much. Yes, they still call me mommy, as you heard. I am so proud of the strong, smart, beautiful souls that you have become. Twelve years ago, I was sworn in to the same state house as a delegate from District 15, where I served for eight years. They say you can never go home again. And I say my presence here today is proof. Yes, you can. Because when you want to serve the people, you can always go home. Good afternoon, Marilyn. What an amazing day in our great state. What about this weather, huh? Is it beautiful or what? So I just want to remind you, yesterday it was raining. Today it's 60 degrees and sunny. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain again. So, Marylanders, you should know destiny is on our side. <laughs> to my friend and Maryland's 63rd governor, Wes Moore, I am humbled to join you on this journey to serve the state we love for the people we love in a place we call home. To the First Lady Dawn Moore and the First Family, we look forward to the joy you will bring to the government house, along with the new puppy you were promised. <laughs> right, Jamie? <laughs> and Mia, that new puppy. To all our federal, state, local, municipal elected leaders, justices, National Guard, family, friends, mentors, and Marylanders, welcome. I am Maruna Miller, and I thank you for your trust and confidence in me to be your 10th Lieutenant Governor of Maryland. I arrived to the United States when I was seven years old. And I will never forget my first day of school. I remember walking in, it was in Poughkeepsie, New York, walked into the classroom, looked, looked at all my class, classmates, none of them looked like me, and I couldn't speak a word of English. But I wanted to fit in. So where is the best gathering place other than the cafeteria? So when we went to the cafeteria, I had a plan. I was gonna do exactly what everyone else was doing. So I ate American food for the first time. I drank cold milk for the first time in my life. I was feeling pretty good. I thought, okay, I think I won over all these classmates of mine. They're my friends now. Walked back to the classroom and proceeded to vomit all over the desk. I was mortified. My teacher called my mom. My mom came to pick me up. And on the drive home, I told her, I want to go back to grandma who raised me in India. I hate cold milk too, mom, by the way. By the time we got home, we heard a knock on the door. And I opened the door and outside standing in the snow was one of my classmates with a stack full of paintings in her hand. Paintings that had hearts, smiley faces, little faces with tears coming down. And it was in that moment I knew I belonged in this great country. It took an educator to teach what I believe is one of the most important qualities of a human being, and that is to have empathy and compassion for others. It wasn't just the first day of school where I felt I didn't belong. In fact, I would say I spent most of my life trying to fit into a space that didn't have me in mind. As an immigrant growing up in a new country, or as a female engineer in a male-dominated field, as an Indian American legislator in a legislature that looked nothing like me, it took me a long time to realize that it was never about needing to fit into a space created by others. It was always about having the courage to be my authentic self in every space. But throughout our history, too many of our communities have been denied opportunities 
to live fully, freely, and to be their authentic selves. Too many people have been left behind. From our black and brown communities seeking to feel safe in their own skin, from women who are fighting for their autonomy over their own bodies, people wanting to love who they love and be who they are in their lived identity, families and children struggling to survive without adequate access to food, housing, education, transportation, and health care. Governor Moore and I see you. We hear you. We will fight for you. We will address the inequities of the past and build a Maryland where everyone will thrive. Because you see, our fortunes are tied together in ensuring that we create a state that we grow equitably. It will take all of us together to achieve this vision. Together with you, we will write the next chapter of Maryland's history, a chapter that will be filled with real-time heroes like you, you who advocates every day for policies that right the wrongs, you who never gives up on the underdogs to be champions and achievers, you who believes that each of us has the power within us to make tomorrow better than today. My story would not be possible without recognizing the heroes in my life. They inspire me to be uh, better and to try harder. So thank you to my husband, David Miller. You've made my life a fairy tale. <laughs> to my mom and dad who took a leap of faith to come to this country because they believed in the promise of America. To my siblings, you were the best part of my childhood and I thank you and I love you for always being there. And of course, also to my daughters that I recognize, I am so proud and they become my favorite type of people, taxpayers. <laughs> <laughs> to my family, friends, and mentors, thank you for never ever giving up on me. To Marylanders, thank you for trusting me to help lead our state into the future. And to Governor Moore, from the moment we met, I knew you were going to be the next governor of Maryland. And apparently, so did 1,293,944 other Marylanders. <laughs> And saying yes to you when you asked me to be your running mate was life-changing. Yes is a tiny but powerful word. When we say yes, we do more, we love more, we create more. Saying yes is to trust the universe has bigger plans for us, one that we can only understand with hindsight. And now, here we are, Governor. It was an honor to run by your side and it will be the greatest honor of my life to serve by your side. For every single person uh, across the state, from Mountain Maryland to the Eastern Shore, from Baltimore City to Southern Maryland, and every space in between, you belong here. This is your home, this is our home. Yes, this is our Maryland.